Hello everyone, hello designers. I think it's time for a new adventure. I will be painting a new abstract today. Again, uh, as usual, I'm painting for my own house. I found a space where I would like to see a white blank wall to be filled in with beautiful abstract. I'm looking to paint a trio of small abstracts uh, before I go ahead and buy a big canvas and Put together a much bigger abstract to accompany the little trio I'm doing today. So today is a sort of a preparation for a bigger, um, a bigger adventure in the future. So by the end of this video, I'll probably know if I want to go ahead or not. So stay with me. Let's paint together and let's see where this journey ends. As usual, I was searching for something in the internet um, just to give me a couple of ideas and the direction. So I come across with this uh, image here. I saw this abstract which looked amazing against simple white wall and it was still quite um, um, easy to implement because these are just um, geometrical forms I, I could paint. So that was my um, sort of starting point. Uh, what I usually do then, I, I upload this image onto Procreate, I use Procreate here. And uh, um, obviously my idea is to paint a big abstract, large abstract, to put it under my bed, in the bedroom. However, today what I wanted to do is to paint a three smaller abstracts that I could uh, put on a side wall to accompany a large abstract that I will paint in the future. Um, although I really love these beautiful colors, I don't think they match my bedroom and I needed a little bit more color. So I brightened up the yellow. I made it slightly more um, plush pink, slightly more colorful and I added, um, what is it, blue or not blue, not purple, I don't know what's the color, <laughs> but anyway, uh, leave me a comment um, under this video to uh, <laughs> if you know the name of this color here. But anyway, this is the um, idea I will be implementing. So now let's see what materials you will need to do that. These are the tools and supplies that I'm going to use to go ahead with this project. So first of all, uh, paper. Uh, I'm, using, I'm using acrylic painting. So I bought this um, paper for acrylic paint. Um, it is a thick paper. It's already primed. You don't have to, if you don't want to, prime it any further. Uh, so this is the paper by Winsor & Newton. That's what I'm using. Then to mix my paint, and I decided, yes, I want to do it. I want to try to mix my paint paint by myself. I'm using this, um, um, like a small piece of glass. It doesn't have to be purchased specifically in the art shop. You can just, I don't know, use a shelf from a furniture if you have one. So as for paints, I'm going to use this. I have a small, I purchased a small set of um, uh, paint which is by golden and it's got yellow green black white red and blue um, acrylic paint tubes uh, in it uh, this is really all that you need at this point by having all these six colors you can pretty much um, achieve any color shade you want by mixing um, the color with black or white or colors together i think this is absolutely great it didn't cost me that much and it was just an amazing set uh, to, to go to purchase then i am going to use gesso also by golden and this is a primer i still want to even this uh, paper that i have here by newton and windsor says that it's already primed and it's non-absorbent because i'm planning to keep those abstracts for a long time i decided that i still want to use the acrylic primer to prep the paper i will be mixing my um, paints the golden paints with the heavy gel because i want the finish to be a little bit glossier you can use any other um, gel medium or any other medium that you would like to i also found that uh, the paint the acrylic paint gets too dry very quickly so i'm using this uh, little um, tool to spray my paints with water which is quite good because it makes them um, more fluid at the end I will be using this little tool, I think it's called spatula, uh, it's a very small one, but uh, I use it to mix colors because that's what, it, mm, to use colors because um, 
I what if what I noticed that if I mix if I use brush to mix colors, then I end up with um, traces of um, unmixed paint here at the top of the brush. And then when I start uh, putting it on the paper, I have some traces of uh, colors that I don't want. So just to avoid that, I decided to purchase that little spatula, which is which was quite uh, helpful in my experience. And I'm using the Vinci number fourteen. Um, a brush to paint this little project. I think this is it, so let's go um, go ahead and start painting. Look at these two beauties. I absolutely love it. It's so colorful and I think this room really needs color because it's a bedroom and I like warm, uh, peachy, uh, yellow, sunny, like grassy green colors and that's what I was aiming for. The original plan was to put all three abstracts here on this wall here, uh, one underneath another, but I decided that I actually like the idea of these um, three being split and one of the abstracts is currently on my bedside table. But I, I think I love it the way it is at the minute. And who knows, maybe I'll, I'll draw number four or I'll just move things around. But at the minute, look at these beauties. I have so love it. <gasps> Alrighty. Well, give me a shout if you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to continue drawing um, simple things like these little abstracts and of course in the future, my plan is to draw another one, uh, a big abstract similar to the, to, to, to the small ones that I've been drawing with you uh, here on YouTube and just put it here underneath my bed. This is it for today's video. Let me know if <laughs> you did um, come up with your own ideas. Uh, please share with me if you draw anything, uh, I would love to see your project. Uh, let me know what else you want to do and I'll make sure I can do uh, those videos for you.